Okay, here is where I'm about to lose my mind. So there is an allegation. It hasn't been substantiated because apparently it's really finicky and it comes and goes and people don't really have a... Um, it, 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 it's intermittent is what I want to say. It is an intermittent issue. It does not happen all the time. So people have a hard time proving it, but it appears to be that Firefox is being penalized by YouTube and when loading a YouTube video on Firefox, especially with an ad blocker, um, you may get a loading issue where a video takes five seconds longer to play. So the accusation is that YouTube is doing something that is either um, browser agent dependent and is penalizing Firefox users or is ad blocker dependent and is trying to uh, give a worse browsing experience to ad blockers or something like that. Um, people haven't narrowed this down, but enough people have complained about it recently or it's becoming like a news story. So uh, that is what's happening here. The other one is that manifest B3, which uh, Google has threatened for a long time is going to stop ad blockers from working as efficiently as they do because right now i believe that um extensions in chrome have access to a lot of the under the hood stuff and they can stop ads from loading before they even start they can interrupt um ads and videos and do all sorts of crazy stuff that you can't do unless you have a high or low level access to the the browser so web manifest which is the new extension uh, scaffolding is going to be less low level in access and will not enable ad blockers to work as performantly or as comprehensively in what kind of ads they block and as a result um users using chrome using ad block light will not be able to actually fully block ads anymore and this is one of the most disgusting things I've ever heard. Um, the fact that Google has, and this was something that people warned us about when it happened, when Chrome came out and offered competition to Firefox and um, ad blockers came out, like people immediately recognized that there was a conflict of interest, interest between Google owning the world's most popular web browser and Google also owning um, the world's most popular ad platform and then Google also owning the world's most popular media platform that uses the most popular ad platform, which is built to natively work better in the most popular browser. So everyone has sold Google their souls and now they're going to use that to force people to see advertisements unless they pay them. And I have something to say to that. Um, no, oh, this is uh, my favorite black man, so Mental Outlaw, happened. talking about the uh, uh, the loading issue. So I want to uh, show people something. This is uh, true. I put this in drafts. I'm going to zeet something. I am one of the only people in the entire world who uh, a long time ago paid for something called Google Play Music. And when Google Play Music ended, um, it... Uh, was folded into YouTube Red, which was a very brief thing. And then um, after YouTube Red ended, it was uh, became YouTube Premium. And then it eventually became YouTube Premium and YouTube Music. So if I can find the button, I am going to cancel this. I have been on this for eight years. As of um, this week, it would have been eight years. And inshallah, I am going to figure out a way to cancel my YouTube premium because I'm I don't care what it takes. I don't care if I have to install apps for it. I don't care if I have to um, buy like a server to uh, do like my own self-hosted media platform. It's now much more expensive. It's like $30 a month for YouTube for YouTube premium with YouTube, um, uh, YouTube music. It's a lot. So I am going to cancel this. Here we go. I think this is it. And I'm going to paste this into here. 
And I will show you that I have actually done this live on air. Hashtag murder Google. We will see if this actually patches through because I'm, I'm done with it. I will do literally whatever it takes to, to invalidate the company known as Google, known as Alphabet, known as YouTube. It should be completely and totally destroyed. Um, it's fucking disgusting. They're forcing people to watch ads, and I was happy to use YouTube Premium because I, I was already using YouTube Music, and I had no issue paying for what I was getting before. But then guess what? I just realized recently I'm getting charged for YouTube Music on top of YouTube Premium. So the reason why I kept YouTube Red was that it was YouTube, uh, Google Music, plus I got benefits on YouTube. Now I'm paying for that on top of another $22 for YouTube Premium. So there's no, uh, like the original reason why I had this is gone. They're charging me out the ass every month for this shit. And I can just get around it by not watching YouTube or by downloading shit and putting it on like a media player or doing literally anything else besides what I'm doing. So, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking done with it. I'm going to cancel everything Google related that I can. I've moved my email from Gmail to ProtonMail already. Um, I'm going to look into Spotify or whatever. I'm, I, maybe not Spotify. But apparently Spotify is like the only alternative for listening to music. But um, as I say in this thread, if you want to uh, suggest to me alternatives for everything YouTube like Google related, how to watch YouTube on TV without getting ads, how to, you know, l listen to music without getting ads. Um, or even if it's a premium service, like I'm art, like, again, I'm paying $10 a month for YouTube music on top of $22 a month for YouTube premium. So if it's $10, if I'm just switching over to Spotify, I can do that. Uh, but basically just show me your, your, your crazy ways of, of avoiding ads. I'm completely, 100%, totally de dedicated to the murder, slaughter, murder, Google, slaughter, alphabet, hacksaw, YouTube uh, movement. Uh, fuck these people. They're absolute clowns. Um, I use Brave instead of Chrome, but if Brave can't get webmen, like ad block, like Brave's whole thing is ad block, so I'm pretty sure they'll always get that to work. But if they can, I'll switch them back to Firefox. Fuck it. You know, I'll donate money to Firefox if they let me use ad blocker. I'm not going to stop. I, I, I hate ads. I hate ads more than anything. I hate ads. I'll say this in actuality, chat. I'm not even being facetious. I'm not using hyperbole, okay? I hate ads more than I hate troons. If I had to listen to two hours of Keffels and Brianna Wu and uh, and Liz Fong Jones and Alejandro Caraballo have a nice discussion about communism, or if I had to watch two, adver two hours of advertisements, I guess I'd be learning a lot about the trans POC struggle in Soviet Russia, because I'm not going to fucking listen to two hours of ads, okay? I, I just can't stand it. I don't want to buy your fucking product. I'm not interested. If it's something good, I'll hear about it from somebody I give a shit about. It won't be from your fucking advertisement on YouTube. That's 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 the bottom line here, chat. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.